Hello world, welcome to the 60th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In this is the second video in our chatbot using the NLTK or the Natural Language Toolkit Library. And um, today my son is going to be checking out my progress. So in the 33rd video on my channel, or the second, or the first one in this playlist, I showed you how I created a simple chatbot using this library, the NLTK library, and uh, I made it voice activated. So in this video, I'm going to turn off the voice activation, but I am going to show off the code I created. So in the previous video, we had only about nine lines of code in our user bot pairs. And uh, in this video, I have approximately 75 user bot responses that I've been working on. So I've been primarily watching YouTube videos of people interacting with chatbots and just recording the most common questions. And so um, I also edited the library code that comes with it. So it creates a log at the end of the conversation. So I can program any responses that the bot doesn't have programmed or that I have not programmed it. So my son is basically going to have a conversation with this chat bot and it's going to, you know, respond accordingly to his things. But I need your help. So please leave a comment on what you think the top questions that someone might ask a chat bot so I can program those. It really takes millions, if not more, of pairs or responses for a uh, chatbot to sound like a human so and to give intelligent responses. So one of the common things that you'll see a lot of Python YouTubers experimenting with is deep and machine learning about um, taking millions of data sets of conversations from public data sets that anyone can download and trying to create a chatbot. And that's awesome. I love the progress on that. And some of them are amazing. And But my purpose for my chatbot is to mimic how I talk. I want it to be a mirror of myself so people think it's me. And the key to having that is a large data set of conversations that I'm going to program. So today, my son, who's also a Fortnite YouTuber, so please follow him for... Um, young adult and older uh, Fortnite YouTube watchers and uh, I'll put a link in the description to both the very first video that we created in the playlist and his YouTube channel if you have if you like to watch Fortnite videos and you're a young adult or older and so uh, we have not rehearsed this he's just gonna ask five to ten questions to the chatbot and if it doesn't have a response it'll say none and then at the end of it, you'll see that it'll write to a text file and we'll analyze that file. So um, let's check him out real quick. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to talk to this chatbot. How old are you? I'm less than a year old. Um, how's life? Uh, can't really think of.
Okay, so now that he is done, he had that simple conversation and he pressed quit and we have a log of his responses. So let's analyze what happened and go through it. So the first thing I did was I wanted this uh, log right here to have the date of when the conversation started. All right. And then the first thing he said was hi. And then anytime it said none, I put to myself in caps need to add response. But the next time he put hi, it said hey there and it responded correctly. So the reason why is because I think he put a space right here. So I need to find a way to capture that where if it has a leading space to ignore it. So he said hi next. It said hey there. He said how are you? I'm doing well thank you. How are you? He said good thank you. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. That's true. That's my favorite color. And so I think that's a, that's a good conversation. You wouldn't be able to know that that's not a computer per se. And then he said, how was your weekend? And then it had a none response on there. And uh, I did not program that because, um, you know, that's difficult because it's talking about a current situation, you know, real time. But, um, because if somebody tries to trick it and it's a Tuesday and it says, how is your weekend? The correct response would be, it's not the weekend. But the bot would have to know the, the date before it could answer that. What is your favorite video game? I should have known this, you know, prepping for this video that he was going to ask that. Um, so I will have to add that pair. How old are you? I'm less than a year old. I turned two. So that was the first time I did my very first video. So he's actually, the bot is turning one. So I need to change that. How's life? That's a good one. I should have had that. That's a different way of saying, uh, how are you? Um, but it would require a real, res a different response just slightly. And that's what's difficult about this is these subtle changes. What is your, what is favorite thing to do? So that's difficult because we would really say what is your favorite thing to do and it would take human to know that that is missing and then there's nothing to say after quit quit lets you know to write this so that's how complex just five I don't know how many questions he asked but just 10 questions and I, even with 75 lines of code or pairs I'm gonna have to do some more work and so this is what I want to do is keep testing it, probably have my wife do it next, and then maybe have a uh, video teleconference with my other son and just try to build up because that's the people I primarily talk to. And so that is my progress. So this does not come with the library. This right here, conversation started or this text file at all. So what you need to do, if you would like to do that, just like in the first video, is we went inside the library and I caution you on this because you are editing the real library. So if you make a mistake, you're going to have to uninstall and reinstall everything. So if you're using PyCharm, um, this is how you do it. If you're using another IDE, I don't, you'd have to find out, but you go to your Python folder, you go to lib with a capital L. All right, and then you're going to go to site packages, all in lowercase. And then you're going to go to uh, you're going to find. You're going to scroll down. I have a lot of site packages or libraries installed. You're going to find NLTK, then the chat, since that's what we're using right here. Import chat, and that's the one we're calling here. Chat equals chat, and then chat dot converse that's how you start the program if you're not familiar with this please watch my first video in this playlist so in this chat file you'll see a util file double click on that and it'll open this and this is the library photo con created by the NLTK project <clears throat> and inside the chat you'll see a respond and this is where I started making some adjustments. Oh, I'm sorry, in this converse, right? That's where you see chat.converse. So in this converse, I added today, 
and then created a file name. So I created a text file called conversation log, which is what this is. And then we print on the terminal, as you saw from with my son, and we also write to the text file. All right. And what, what we didn't show off is what he, if he repeated something. So I'll show you that in a second. So we write the user every time he responds, the user, and then every time the bot responds, I write to that. So the bot plus the response and then a line break. Or I write, if there's a type error, which means type error none, then it says need to add response. Okay, so what I didn't get to show him off because we didn't rehearse this, is what happens if he repeats it. So let's check that out real quick. So we're starting another conversation, and he typed in hi. That was the very first thing he typed. It says sup. Let's say he does it again. Well, it says you've already asked that. Now that I'm recording this, I'll probably need to change that. It said you already said that, so I could change that. Okay, go to the conversation logs, scroll down, and there is a new chat. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope if you've watched it so far that you will leave a comment. And uh, I'm not going to go through my whole conversation, but if there's a question you think that will definitely be asked, then please leave a comment and I will get that added. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more Python videos. And um, thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.